Hello, let's see, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Christmas Eve. It is December 24th of 2016, Christmas Eve. And I just, oh, first of all, if you watched the video a, a day or two, or two ago, a couple videos, all that uh, ubiquity networking stuff. A gentleman in Pennsylvania, a fan of the the of the site here, he bought it. So it'll be hopefully shipped going out to him tomorrow. I got it packed up, and uh, it's eleven pounds worth. I threw in. He got a really good deal price wise, of course. And I threw in a headset and another, an audio, a digital to audio, a digital to non-audio converter. And I, I was going to have him pay for priority shipping. And then when I, the 11 pound box, it wouldn't fit, the stuff wouldn't fit in a flat rate priority box, which I'm not sure how much that would have cost, but, uh, so the box that I had it in, it would have cost priority mail would have been $73. So, uh, so then I looked at first class package or whatever they call that. That was $42. So I just went ahead and, um, he should get it in two to nine days. I sent it media mail and then I just went ahead and paid the postage, the shipping, which was I think uh, seven dollars and forty-one cents. I think that was with the tracking. I know I, I sent him the tracking, and I think the post office sent him the tracking. So I don't have that equipment anymore. Uh, I just ordered ninety dollars worth of food from Amazon. No, from Pro Amazon from Prime Now. This is my second time that I've ordered. It's uh, 1 a.m. right now. They're going to deliver between 8 and 10 a.m. in the morning. And I'll just repeat it for those of you who are regulars, you know, but uh, I don't have a car. And, and especially getting some stuff is really difficult. So uh, this looks like it's going to work out. But I thought we should go over what I ordered. Now, first of all, okay, I ordered French onion dip, a couple of containers of French onion dip. I know that's not good. I'm diabetic. I'm 230 pounds, high blood pressure. Well, I'm taking medication and what have you, but which reminds me. Yeah, I'll do that later. What if I were to choke on one of those pills? That wouldn't be good. Oh, well, it'd be a good video. It might be a viral, good, you know, video. Ah, I want you people, and especially the people that are, well, of course, the vegetarian and uh, bacon people are going to not like any of this stuff. But tell me how I did, and tell me how I can do better on uh, ordering stuff. So I ordered a couple of these uh, Lean Cuisine apple cranberry chicken, frozen, I ordered uh, only one package of this uh, chicken of the sea pink salmon in a pouch. I've had some of these pouches before, and I, I don't think I've had a, the salmon, but I've had tuna, and you can get different flavors. But I, I ordered some uh, Tyson fully cooked crisp, crispy chicken strips, 25 ounces, frozen of course. I ordered some uh, 32 ounces of uh, French fries, and that will make, sometimes when I make a meal for me, I'll put them in the oven, and then of course I use a lot of ketchup, and then I add salt to the ketchup that I dip them, you know, but I ordered some cheese, I love cheese, I ordered some onions, because I like to throw onions in with stuff that I make, but you know, like eggs, scrambled eggs, I didn't order any eggs, scrambled eggs, and whatever. I got a couple of uh, these pizzas. Now I had, uh, I ordered two last time of these Amy's cheese 
enchiladas, and they were delicious. I ordered two more. I ordered six bottles of Coke Zero, the two liter bottles, and I ordered three 12 packs of Coke Zero. I drank Coke Zero, but when I run out of Coke Zero, my son usually, if the cold, weather's cold or something, he'll pick up a bottle up the street, you know, for me. I never drank water, but I did order a gallon of water, and I'm going to try to have some water sitting here on the. And I ordered uh, some pet food, some cat food. Got to make sure I don't think that's tuna and eat that. I ordered orange juice. I like to have orange juice in the morning, but I found that around here, when I pick up a bottle of orange juice, it doesn't last very long. This was, I got one last time, it was very fresh. I only ordered one bag of potato chips for my dip. When I eat dip, I eat too much. I'm not going to tell you how much dip I eat when I eat the dip, but wait a minute, that can't be everything. That's it? Didn't I order more than that? That's all I got for a hundred dollars. Oh no. Pretend you didn't see this. Pretend you did not see this, because that's not... For a hundred dollars, that's not much stuff. Disregard this. So, what's going on? Um, well, let's let's pull up uh, see what's going on news-wise. Open a new window. Go to CNN. Oh, I know what it is. My God. Uh, President-elect Donald Trump saying that we need to start a, a nuclear uh, armament contest again. That we need, you know, I, I, man, I God, I can't believe him. I cannot believe him. Uh, I'm of course pro, you know, pro-Israel and the United States has been, but recently, uh, well, the settlements, that it's just, they, they need to be, it is, I understand their position that they're in, but, and then the, the, the way their prime minister, whatever, has, the way he came to, the, you know, the United States and tried to, bat, you know, Bypassed, of course, Republicans, you know, invited him to address Congress, and there he was. And then uh, some more of the recent stuff that he's done. Uh, I think we needed to send a message, you know, needed to send a message, you know, to him and to Israel. They're our ally there, and we're not going to let them be overrun or whatever, but. Uh, Carrie Fisher's in the intensive care unit. From what, it, from the way it was described in the news, that she was non-responsive on the aircraft, and they were doing CPR on her, and they were doing CPR. Uh, I was a CPR. I was an EMT. I had EMT training. I never really went out on ambulances and did calls or anything like that. I was also a CPR instructor for years and I certified nurses and uh, hospital workers. Um, they've changed CPR. Uh, well, they change it from time to time. But, um, you know, you see on in TV shows and movies and things like that, you see some uh, CPR is very, very seldom effective. And when I've been in the emergency room, when 
ambulance crew, paramedics would come in with somebody and they said, oh, you know, we got their, you know, we another save for, they even write it on the, on the whiteboard in the, you know, ER or nurse's room or break room or whatever, another save for such and such a uh, ambulance service or whatever. And uh, those people uh, almost always end up going to the intensive care unit, intubated on a machine that's breathing for them, and that's the you know that's the end of them eventually. Very seldom does, but I mean, I'm. You should go out and get, especially if you have children, or if you have a father or grandfather at 75, please do uh, learn CPR, and especially, you know, they'll teach you the Heimlich maneuver also for choking. Uh, so you should learn it, but it is not what you think, you know, from watching TV and uh, whatever, but do learn it. Um, I'm not going to tell that story again, but I was uh, uh, CPR instructor for years, and then the C the American Heart Association or whatever revoked my uh, instructor permit or whatever because I uh, certified someone, a nurse, an ER nurse, without using the mannequin. And now the, <laughs> the story I told, I think, not sure if I did that in a video, if I did it in my blog, I think I did it in my blog. I told her that, uh, you know, that I certified this nurse without using the mannequin and uh, another nurse wrote me up. She was a CPR instructor also. And she wrote me up, and then my supervisor came out and said, Jim, did you do that? And I said, yes, I did it. And so they suspended me for three days without pay, and they were, not the hardest, but the hospital suspended me for three days without pay. They wrote me up for falsification of hospital documents. And that is something that remains in your file forever. I mean, if you get into a fight with somebody, of course, you really got into a fight with somebody in the hospital, you probably would get terminated. But if you got into a fight with somebody and they didn't terminate you, or if you did a whole bunch of things, those things would leave your file. But when you falsify hospital documents, that stays in your file forever. So, um, but anyway, in my blog, I... I I said, you know, they, and I said, yes, they called me into, I'm going to tell the story anyway, aren't I? They uh, called me into the room, and all the CPR instructors lined up and made a roll, and then they stripped off my patch that said I was a CPR instructor. Then they took my training baton, and they broke that and threw that on the floor. And then I had to walk between these two, the two rolls of, CPR, my fellow CPR instructors, and they turned their backs as I went through and out the door. <laughs> and, and a lady left a comment on my blog, and she said, oh, oh, that was so, how could they do that to you? That broke my heart. I cried. I, tears came to my eyes that they would do that to you. Of course, that's not what happened. Uh... I said I'd tell you some stories. Maybe let me tell you what how that actually came about. I was a CPR instructor for years and for the hospital. When I did this CPR certification at the local hospital that I, well, I worked at both of them, but for 11 years I worked at the one small hospital. And when I did it at the small hospital, I did go ahead and uh, time in and time out and I got paid for it. When they asked me to go down to the main hospital, uh, most of the time I didn't even bother to write in that I, I just went down and gave them my time for free. So, uh, so anyway, I was working at the small hospital and 
by uh, one of the nurses that worked there. A uh, very nice lady, born again Christian, had about seven kids, homeschooled, and our in our end worked in the emergency room. And uh, I'm not sure I told her, but I think some of the other people did. She was going on vacation. Plus, too, she didn't work every. She just worked on call part time. I forget what her schedule was, but she was told, you know, hey, uh, CPR marathon is coming up. You need to get, you know, you better get certified during that and whatever. And of course, uh, she didn't. She went on vacation. She came back. She was off, you know, for a while, and then when she came in. And she worked like 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. When she came in, there was a notice on the bulletin board there that in the ER, no nurse who is not certified in, in a CPR, you cannot work after, and they had the date, which would be midnight. After that date, you cannot, you cannot work. So she came in and said, oh, Jim, what am I going to do? And uh, I said, well, I said, I don't have a mannequin out here right now. I said, but let's, I'll go through it with you and we'll do it without the mannequin. And uh, I said, in the morning, you're going to see this nurse who, uh, I mean, okay, that's another story, but you're going to see this this nurse, and I said she's going to say, "Penny, you need to be certified." And you're, and I said, "What you're going to say is, I'm already certified. Jim took care of." It. And I said, "Don't do that, Penny." Um, I said, "Tell her, oh, okay. Well, Jim took me through everything, but we didn't have a mannequin, and he told me to get with you, and that the next time there's a mannequin, you know." I said, "Do that." I knew she wouldn't because it actually. Uh, like I told you, she's a born again Christian, homeschooled the kids. They didn't have a television set, and her husband, really nice guy, but he was the head of you know, he was the head of the family. I, I'm sure she would have had a television set if if he wasn't you know uh, head of the family or whatever. So I noticed that she was. You know, let's say passive at home, but at work, she liked to cause trouble and raise some hell, and that was her, I think, her outlet. And so, so sure enough, the next morning, I'm sure, because they, uh, that nurse reported, you know, reported me, and that's what, you know, did all that got me suspended for three days without pay and all that. And, uh, but, what's funny then is, of course, they needed a CPR instructor. So then they asked Penny to be a CPR, you know, get trained. To, and she said, hell no, well, you know, hell no, I will not. She also went strumming up to the assistant administrator's office who was, you know, uh, director of nursing also and everything, and protested that I had gotten into trouble or whatever. And a bunch of the other nurses came down on that nurse who reported, you know, who reported me or whatever. Uh, the nurse who reported me. Well, I don't want to go into that story. Or do I? Nah, I won't go into that story. But, so, oh, okay. Uh, how Trump attacks threaten some big job creators. Uh, Lockheed vows to cut five, the cost of the five, F-35, cop's two-year-old son shoots himself accidentally.
I guess they're having trouble getting uh, some celebrities to go to the Donald Trump thing and perform or whatever. What's a bigger deal is that uh, none of the ex-presidents are, are apparently going to show up except uh, Jimmy Carter. President Carter indicated to his Sunday school class that he intended to go, so he, if he does go, he'll be the only one attending out of all the ex-presidents. Generally, unless they're in bad health or something, they show up. So, you know what I don't like about AMP or about CNN is when you go here, their videos. They want you know. I can understand. You know, they're a CNN online video and you know all that kind of stuff but when I go to CNN I want if I want to cl click on a video fine but I, I really want to read stuff and then occasionally I will want and then another thing I do not like about them and other people okay I don't see it on here is that because my ad blocker has taken it out on this time but now they're not the only one. All the uh, all these places do this. There'll be these little tiny things like this, and they're really just advertisements for something. It, but it'll be uh, it'll be something that looks kind of interesting. It'll be a, a a video, and it'll have something that's really kind of gets your attention, you know. And uh, but th what they are, are advertisements. So, but I don't see it right now. This video is probably been running on a while. Anyway, my food will be here tomorrow between eight and ten. But my God, I thought I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. I need to get in some supplies, start cooking some, cooking some stuff. Like I ordered in uh, two things of Jimmy Dean's French onion dip or whatever. I've got a couple health books, uh, cookbooks or whatever. I need to find some stuff that I could make. My problem is I cannot keep. Uh, vegetables fresh very long. There again, I guess I need to also look and see, you know, do you refrigerate tomatoes or do you, you know, I'm probably doing something wrong. I need a good woman. That's what I need. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Okay, where is Santa Claus? I don't hear. I guess it's too early. I don't hear him. <laughs>